the dancers. Whoa. Welcome back, viewers, to the Let's Talk with Lakshmi TV show. Well, guys, from one humanitarian mission to another humanitarian mission, it's indeed my honor and pleasure to bring on my very do good friend, my dear brother. He is none other than Roshan Shircharan. He is from Guyana Tunes. He is from Save Abi, And he is just our friend. I mean, when you think about someone that helps the world, that helps everyone, and can help you with anything, anytime, you will think about Roshan. Roshan, thank you for coming on to Let's Talk with Lakshmi. How are you? Very good, very good, and I'm indeed very happy to be here. Oh. You know, I'm, it's a pleasure, and I know we tried many times, and we've so been so busy, but I'm very happy that we've made some time to get here. You know, Roshan, I don't even know how you make the time. I mean, between Guyana Tunes Radio, now Guyana Tunes TV, and all of the great work that you're doing with Save AB, and just every other thing that you do, your promotions, your regular job, your obligations to your family, your friends, I don't know where you found the time, but I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> well, I'm very glad to be here. I'm very glad. Awesome. So, Roshan, you know, I especially invited you on because I know Save Abby's annual fundraising event, Chutney Glow, is coming up. And, you know, I wanted you to come on and invite everybody and tell everybody about the Chutney Glow event. I mean, first of all, what is Chutney Glow? Well, Chutney Glow is, uh, it's... You know, it's our flagship, uh, you know, fundraising event. You know, um, we always say that when you do something, everyone, you know, they love to have fun when they're, doing, when they're doing something, right? Right. So, you know, we're here in the States. We have so much advantage to everything. We can go out. We can have nice dinners. We spend money. You know, we do so many things. Why not we bring this into an event? Right. We make it into a nice event. And it's an all-white event. You get to make it classy, dress in all white, you come out, you have fun. And you know, this is our, we call it Chutney Glow 7.0, but we just did one in Orlando, mm -hmm. which sold out phenomenal. And it's really our eight Chutney Glow event. Mm -hmm. And you know, you get to come out and it feels like such a family event. Yeah, you know, I've been to Chutney Glow, of course, over and over and over. But you know, one thing that I know is that Every event is a sold out event. Every event, first of all, starts in time. Um, everybody is just so happy to be there. Like when you yeah. walk in, by the way, when you walk in, if you're kind of late like me, you're walking through a crowd of people and everybody's just so happy. It's like they want to be there, they want to help. But one thing, especially that I've noticed, is year after year is your venue gets bigger and bigger because of the growth of the crowd. I know last year you guys couldn't even fit more people. Yes. And you had a humong <laughs> humongous venue. I mean, what do you say is your secret of, of having a sold out event year after year after year? You know, I, I, I would say we don't have a secret. You know, it, I think that's, that's the recipe right there. We are transparent, we, whatever we do, there is no secret to it. We tell everyone like it is. If we promise you we're gonna start our event at eight o'clock, mm -hmm. we make it our mission to start before eight o'clock. Many times, and you've seen, we said we start at eight and we wind up starting at six o'clock. Wow. Right? And, uh, and when we raise the money from the event, the next day, we make it public, right. we post it, and we tell everyone exactly how much money was raised. Mm -hmm. So. You know, there is no secret. It's it's people l wants the honesty. Right. That's what people are looking for, and I think that's what we are. You know, we're here to do because I don't need to make money. Like you said, you know, I have a I have a day job. I'm a professional engineer. Yes. And everyone else in the group, everyone work. So if we can pay our bills, why do we need to be greedy? Right. We're giving back to our country, and we got to give back the right way. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of transparency, I know we can all go on SaveAbby.org and see the different programs that you guys have. I know you just came back from Guyana 
with the Save Abby Medical Outreach Program, where you guys went to different villages and gave free medical care. Tell us a little bit about the medical outreach program that Save Abby does every year. So every year, you know, we, we hold uh, the medical outreach and we start in Cotton Tree. And we, like everything else, we start from the roots where we, where we started. And, uh, you know, we started by just giving free eyeglasses, free basic checkup, and we reached out to a few doctors, mm -hmm. and they came out to support. They liked our ID, they liked what we we're doing, and uh, we give free shoes. You know, everyone that, you know, all the kids that come there, they get a free pair of shoes. And, you know, now it's grown so much. Now we just, uh, we just went to Blackbush, and uh, we went to Region 7, and, you know, and then, just requests are coming in now. You know, people are uh, sending in requests ahead of time saying, oh, we have this person who needs a wheelchair. Yeah. Uh, I know I personally have referred you guys to several people who yes. needed wheelchairs who, you know, gotten shot or were born with some type of deficiency and they yes. can't walk. And right away it was like, no problem, of course, we'll get it. And to date, I'll tell you that it has helped these people they have had a difference in their lifestyle. I mean, we had a little girl that was born with a deficiency in her back where yeah. she didn't grow. So yeah. she couldn't walk. Um, like she's growing in age, but her bones were, yes. was not growing. Can't and grow. she couldn't walk. And because of Save Abi, they were able to get her a, a wheelchair that laid out flat that this young girl could lay on it and for the first time her mom could take her out daily gotcha. to see the sunlight yes. so thank you guys so oh, much for I that. Mean, uh, that this is what we're what we love to do you know her situation like you said was a special case where she need that special equipment and you know we try and we have to say you know thank you to Ricky we have Asha we have Dave we have Justine I'm not even going go into the entire team but we have you know, such a big team now that, uh, you know, the organization is growing and we can help a lot more, you know. So today, as of today, we are offering free dental. You know, how many people back home can get teeth checked, I know, I know. get any dental work done. So we were able to get ophthalmology, dentistry, um, you know, basic checkup, diabetes, things like that. We were able to bring all the medication into Guyana and it was all donated to the organization. That's amazing. So the support is there and you know, thank you to everyone that's helping us. Now I know this was a dream that was uh, envisioned and started by Shamtilak. Yes. And his dream was to be able to teach each child to use the computer one child at a time. That's you right. know, tell us about the computer program that Save Abi provides for the community. Well, Sham, you know, he went back to Guyana after many years of running a successful business here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and went back and cried after he see kids don't have access to computer and, you know, he's like, I'm going to buy a computer and send it there. Well, he did. He convert his parents' home right. where they used to stay into a school. And now we have a successful lab that that's running and the demand over a thousand kids are you know using that lab where they get f access to free computer free internet we have teachers there who are teaching them they uh, they're doing their exam they get they go there and they prep for their exam you know so all the classes are all 100% free you now, don't have to pay for nothing what i love is the children that graduate are certified in computers and they can take that certification to let's say Georgetown or yes. to anywhere and they will acknowledge it yes uh, you know in in computers and they can get jobs lots Correct. of children yeah. have left save abi and gone and gotten jobs through this computer certification yes uh, you know there was a uh, there was 40 applicants for two positions that was open in uh, in a government position and one of um, the kids Someone got one of the position. There was only one position open, and one of the applicants were one of the kids from our school. And at the moment, he didn't have the child didn't have the certificate with him. They sent him to go home, bring his certificate. He's brought his certificate, and he got the job. Wonderful! You Thank know? you so, so much. It's 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 such a great feeling to see that you know we can give back so much and see that this these kids can be so happy. You know. 
and it's little things we do. And they are people. happy. I, I know you guys have this graduation program where they have kids that come out and they sing and they dance and they perform yes. and it's like a special day for the children. And you know, it just touches my heart when, when I look at these kids that have no training in music or singing or even dancing, but they just listen to, you know, the radio or they watch an Indian movie. And now Say Bobby has present, you know, presented them with the school there yeah. that they can use the space and they can perform on a stage. I mean, yeah. who gives children a stage to perform at that may not be trained or receive degrees in dancing or singing? Yeah, and um, you know, it's growing. We have three schools successful. You know, we've joined with other organizations like the Nirvana Humanitarian Foundation as well to uh, open in up West a Coast, school yeah. there. And, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm actually seeing it here for the first time. We are actually expanding the Cotton Tree School. Oh. Um, we're adding radio broadcasting classes oh, awesome. to, to the school so kids can actually learn about radio broadcasting. We have a bunch So are they going to be on Guyana Tunes Radio? They will be on Guyana Tunes. Awesome. And uh, we have Bunty Singh in Cotton Tree okay. who has a BKVJ uh, studio. Bunty will be the teacher awesome. and he'll be teaching them uh, how to make music, how to edit, how to edit videos and they'll be uh, broadcasting it live on Guyana Tunes as well. That sounds amazing. So that's amazing. coming very soon and uh, application for that will be open as well. So. That's great. And you're hearing that for the first, first time First time. We love it when we get the first news first mm -hmm. right here on Let's Talk with Lakshmi. So Roshan, you know, tell everybody who's watching here how can they get tickets to Chutney Glow? Where do they go? Where do they find out more information? How do they give back to Save Abbey? We always tell everyone, if you would like to support us, don't just write a check okay. or don't bring money. Come and see what we do. Chutney Glow is an event where we know everyone can come. They can have a great time. And at the same time, you supporting a good cause. Just buy a ticket, go to chutneyglow.com or guyanatunes.com. You can purchase a ticket right on the website. There's no fees or processing fee or anything like that. You just purchase your ticket, print a copy, bring it with you, and see what we're doing. See what everyone is doing. This is how this is how we, uh, you know, we we raise, uh, you know, funds. And if you'd like to join us in Guyana, mm -hmm. we have more trips coming. Yeah, uh, you have, have the, the annual toy drive, and Christmas yeah, toy drive. The Christmas mm -hmm. toy drive, you were there. Yeah, I love and, it. Um, love seeing all the know, kids having a great time. Um, you, don't, you don't need to bring money. Buy some toys, bring it with you, and give it to the kids them yourself. That's and awesome. And that's how, that's how you support us. That's awesome. Well, you know what? We are going to be at GLOW because we GLOW. And all together, we make everyone GLOW. And even what's more fun, we've got some chutney in there, so it's chutney glow. That's so, right. Roshan, thanks for coming it's on. My thanks for Thank chatting you with so us. Much. Guys, remember to wear white. And if you need any more information, just go to chutneyglow.com or right. saveabby.org. That's right. We'll see you all at Chutney Glow. See you there.